so this summer we left the, the cozy bosom of suburbia for some of this. Well, that's the teenager siren. He's already hit his grumpy old man stage. <laughs> like, come on. Well, you did buy a fifth wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I know. This is day one of our summer trip 2024. We're in Horseshoe Lake, Thousand Trails. Right on the border of Indiana and Illinois. <laughs> Cooper just woke up. Logie's reading books. Logie wants, he's been Logie sleeping all wants night. to read books. Logie does love to read books, doesn't he? The main idea was just to get to Northwest Ohio. And we're going to a state park where we're actually spending 12 days. We're going to meet some friends there. Uh, we're going to do Cedar Point. Let's go, Logie. We're basically on a four month northeast adventure. So we're heading east, <laughs> Ohio, Pennsylvania, yeah, New York is. State, and all the northeast uh, mini states up to Maine. And then we're hitting a 50 Pies family event, uh, which is going to be fun, which is also in upstate New York. Today we're just getting your bearings. Man, he's just happy to be here, eh, man? We are on the road again. Logan, listening to his Yoto player. Cooper, drinking water. He just ate mangoes. There's Mad Man. And our driver. impression of Thousand Trails Indian Lakes. Very nice. Very, very big. And really nice amenities so far. The playground looks super nice. Here we go. Time to go to the pool. They're ready yet? No. Keep going on them. Watkins has won it. Oh, go, mate. Letting them run out of their energy before we attempt the two to four hour bedtime trials. We had a nap on the way back from the Cincinnati Zoo, which is kind of worst case scenario because that was about four o'clock. So that's really close to bedtime. So it's probably going to be a late night. I left them alone for 30 seconds and this is what happens. This is on me. Good thing it's almost half time. Well, that's the teenager siren. We're right on the edge of a storm. We're going to hear the thunder. We got blue skies over here. I'm pretty sure it's going north of us, but it's definitely in this county. Never what you want to hear when you're in an RV.
We did live in Oklahoma for 10 years, so we're used to tornado sirens and tornado warnings and tornado weather, but we did have a storm shelter in our garage. This time round, uh, nothing came of it, thankfully. There was uh, a tornado on the ground within the same county we were in, but it just kind of touched down briefly and went back up. So this week we arrived in Port Clinton, it's East Harbor State Park for nine nights. Our friends from Oklahoma took a road trip to come up here. So we joined them at Cedar Point for a couple of days. This is Cedar Point, Sandusky, Ohio. One to eighteen of the biggest roller coasters on the planet. Let's do a selfie. Do a selfie in front of Cedar Point. Okay, in. This is a fast walk to the back of the park. So Cedar Point had been planned for a few months. The idea was to spend a couple of days there so we could do all the coasters. Uh, we got the Fast Pass. So there's the Fast Pass and the Fast Pass Plus. The Fast Pass Plus allows you to go on the big five, which are really the, the top five uh, biggest, most uh, exciting, most sought after coasters. So we decided to do that for the first day to make sure we could do the big coasters and then just have the fast pass regular for the second day, which doesn't get you on the big coasters. Uh, in hindsight, the big coasters are really where it's at. So you really just want to get the fast pass plus. When I say the big five, we actually only went on four because unfortunately, Top Thrill 2, which is this absolute beast, 410 feet high. It looks absolutely incredible but it was closed the whole time we were here, even though it just opened a few weeks ago. Oh, because they're having issues with the train itself. So hopefully that opens again soon. If you do get a chance to ride it, let me know what it's like because it looks really awesome. The vertical drop coasters are my favorite because I just love a big drop. Uh, this was a huge vertical drop coaster. The park is huge. I set a personal best for number of miles walked and number of steps walked in one day, uh, possibly in my life. It's pretty much Allie and I took the littles to stuff while the dads and the teenager were at Cedar Point. So the first day we ended up going to African Wildlife Safari, which was a drive-through and walk-through safari. And it actually ended up just being like a little walk-through zoo and, an all, and a drive-through safari portion, which was really, really cool because it was go at your own pace, um, go through as many times as you want. Hi, buddy. And then after that, we went to Cedar Point that afternoon, which that was a lot. That was a big day. It was a big day. Here they go! Oh. <laughs> Whee! Hi, Let's go, Logan. We don't want to go on that. No, too scary for you? What did you think of the theme park, Cooper? Good. Good. So again, what did you think of the theme park? Good. Mom, what did you think of the theme park? Hot. Oh, definitely. Oh, both. Yes, it's quite sweaty. I'm the Aldi. Even at 9 p.m. What rides did you go on at the theme park, Logan? I don't know. You don't know? Was there a helicopter one? Helicopter. Was there a Jeep one? A helicopter, a jeep one. Bumper cars? Yeah. And what else? Why they went on the bumper cars. Mm. So after Cedar Point, 
we had a beach day. Our beach day was really nice. It was nice and relaxing. We really liked East Harbor State Park because there was a beach that you could bike to from the campground, which was really nice. It was a nice beach. <laughs> Um, it was very, very shallow waters, which meant that the boys could play in the water. Yesterday we went to the lighthouse. We went to Marblehead Lighthouse, and that was really nice. It was a beautiful day for it. We even saw a wedding proposal, and she said yes. Cooper took some other flowers. We went to Put in Bay, which is an island you can get the ferry to, 20 minute ferry. So if you're not familiar with Port Clinton in Northwest Ohio, it's a little island uh, right on Lake Erie, kind of a peninsula actually, and there is an island called uh, Put in Bay or Put in Bay. I can never uh, exactly remember what it is. But we all took a 20 minute ferry there. This is us walking to the Miller Ferry. I know, he's already hit his grumpy old man stage. <laughs> like, come on. Well, you did buy a fifth wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Good. Is your wobble? So wobbly. It is so wobbly. Up your face. Put in Bay is known as a party island, so we weren't really sure what to expect. We're good! But we got there, rented some golf carts, uh, putted around, or putted around. And uh, we discovered a, a really interesting national memorial called the Perry. I got one of these. Oh, you got a gummy bear. Gummy bear. Naval battle in Lake Erie. Yes, Cooper? Okay, I'll come help you. Yeah, we visited the Perry, Perry's Memorial. Okay, go pee, just open the, open the door. You just pull the handle, it's not locked. Pull the handle really hard with, with the, there you go. Yes, this is what it's like pretty much every day. So we have to keep them occupied with activities. So anyway, Perry's Memorial. We're going to Perry's Victory Memorial. This is Perry's Victory Memorial. It was a, a battle of Lake Erie in the War of 1812. So Canada, Great Britain and the US. So a really interesting museum and monument that we had no idea that was there. These are the sort of things that we like to stumble across. The boys got to see a cannon demonstration and we got caught in some more freaky Midwest weather when this uh, random storm came out of nowhere. It's a pretty cool island to just putt around on and enjoy. What else did we do yesterday? We had lunch with our friends in the RV. We used the Blackstone Grill, which is in there. And we had some brats from the local store, and some sweet corn and some turkey burgers. And we hung out and played some baseball. That was fun. When, when I when I when 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 I when I when I and and do the and do the diamond, then it will, and then I will mix it up, and then it will be like mac and cheese. Oh, Cooper, did you like Cedar Point? Yeah. Where you went on the bumper cars? That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. What else did you like? What other rides? All of the rides. All of the rides. Cooper loves rides. Hey, you want to go on roller coasters next time? Yeah. It's yeah, when, when you're big enough, we'll go on roller coasters. Maybe Top Thrill 2 will be open when we come back. And our friends will be there. And our friends, yeah. It's more fun when you go with friends. 
And sure. That one is yummy. Mm. Yeah, Cooper has stopped peeing this week, haven't you, Cooper? Keeps holding it in. It's okay, we'll work through it, won't we, buddy? What? Hello, <laughs> gummy bear. I love it! You love Pikachu? Mm -hmm. Yes. But today's been a more chill day, as we're all pretty tired after traveling all the way up here. Cedar Point, working, childcare, it's been pretty hot, but it's really nice today. 75, it's going to be pretty nice tonight. Uh, we might just pop along to the beach on the e-bikes. This is North Swimming Beach at East Harbour State Park. Cooper's playing with sticks. Logan and I are eating snacks. Pick up. It was a nice little five minute, 10 minute e-bike ride here from the campsite. What do you want to say, Logue? I love it. He loves it. These are the moments that I cherish. Both of them are just playing by themselves. And I can sit here and enjoy a kombucha. We had two fixes on the road already. So one of our electric e-bikes stopped working. It was given an error code E010. So a quick phone call to electric and they sent us the part and we installed that in about 25 minutes, so that one's fixed. And in our furnace, randomly, it stopped working in the RV, it shorted and just started kind of starting up and stopping for about 20 minutes, and then it totally failed. So we, uh, instead of calling an RV tech, which we've done in the past, check out our video on our mistakes for some bad luck that we had with some RV techs. So next up we're on to central and eastern Ohio and the home of Shawshank Prison. I'm also going to be on child care duty solo for four days as Heather goes to a work conference. So let's see how that goes, how we manage that in the RV. And from a Starbucks parking lot at 6.30 in the morning, I will see you next time.